On this episode of DIY Garage, I'm going to show you how to put ignition coils in a Porsche 996. Now this is a standard Carrera, not the turbo, so the turbo is going to have a lot more stuff in the way. This one also has the exhaust uh, muffler delete, so there's a little more room to work in this one, but you'll at least get the gist. Right now is a good time to tell you the part numbers for the upgrades. So the coil packs themselves will be part number 997-602-10402. Now the coil packs themselves are thicker, so you will need two bolts for each of the coil packs. They'll need to be a 6 by 40 millimeter. If you want to get the factory bolts like I did, they are going to be a external Torx bit, part number 900-385-02501. So once the exhaust is out of the way, you'll see this bracket. And behind that bracket, Behind this bracket, see we need light, don't we? Yeah, this thing not picking up light very well. Behind this bracket, you have a metal plate with two 10 millimeter bolts in them. All you have to do is take those out and your ignition coils will be exposed right behind them. These have the older style ignition coils that are held in with Allen head bolts. The new updated style that we're going to go to are off of the 997. They're a little bit thicker, so you will need to order the bolts from Porsche. The good thing is that they are only about 50 cents a piece. The coil packs on the outer edge are usually pretty easy to get to. The ones that are behind the the ones that are behind the exhaust bracket can be a pain in the butt. You also have a weatherproof connector that you have to pull back and undo. Right there. Squeeze it down and pull. Aside from having to remove the entire exhaust, this is probably one of the easier ignition coil jobs I've ever done. But I pulled the exhaust off long ago. But plan to put something back on because it is a bit loud. Now we're doing this to try and fix a misfire on cylinder number six, which is this one here on the end. Hopefully this fixes it, because I'm not looking forward to tearing down this engine. I did find out yesterday that we have the highest mileage, 996 to ever make it back to our local Porsche dealership. This one has nearly 200,000 miles on it. A lot of people are afraid of the IMS bearing, which is the intermediate shaft bearing, going out in these. Um, to my knowledge, this one has never been replaced. Um, I know that 
myself as well as the previous owners have been very rough on it. So I don't think it's one of those things that every 996 has. I think it's uh, the later generations like the 996.2 that have the dual row IMS bearings. And even then, everything I've read, it seems like less than 5% are actually affected. So it's kind of one of those things, it's a gamble, but I mean, I think it's totally worth it. This car is an absolute blast. And for the cost of a pre-owned Volkswagen Jetta, it's totally worth the money in my opinion. So as you can see, the ignition coil is a little bit worse for wear, the boot's torn. So that, that right there could potentially be our misfire. There's no telling. Um, some of the tabs are cracked. I mean, they're just old. Um, 996 part number. The new ones that are going in are a little bit thicker. 997 part number. Right now is a good time to go ahead and check and replace your spark plugs. Obviously we're gonna check it because we're getting a misfire on this cyl cylinder. Blech. Obviously we're gonna check it because we are getting a misfire on this cylinder. But if you still have the exhaust in the way, you really don't wanna have to go redo this just for some spark plugs. Now I will say that the spark plugs are a bit expensive through the dealership, but if you look around online for the right part number, I ended up getting a full set for, I think about $6 a plug, whereas the dealership wants about $16 a plug. Okay, so spark plug looks good. This one, for whatever reason, we're not getting spark on that cylinder. It's covered with gas. So this may be a little more in depth. Hopefully the spark or the ignition coils will fix it. Nice new shiny 997 ignition coils from the dealership. So as you can see, there's a little bit longer. We've got longer screws and they are the reverse Torx that go on there. These are the screws designed for this ignition coil. Um, now because these are taller, it may be a little more difficult to get into place. You just kind of fiddle with them and find a way to make it work. Um, this is a factory recommended upgrade. So, water shield or dirt shield that's over top of these. So we're gonna have to find a way to make a spacer. So that way, it still is protected from the elements because we do still drive this even in the rain. So as you can tell side by side, they're drastically bigger, should give a lot more amperage and um, they plug right in, super simple upgrade. Um, best of luck. Now we got five more to do. Now one thing is if you are not used to having these kind of random tools, um, these new bolts are going to be a size E, as in Edward, 10. So if you have to order your socket, it's going to be an E10 socket. And remember, you are putting these into an aluminum valve cover. Don't go crazy. There is a torque spec. I don't know what it is right offhand, but just don't go crazy with them. Don't don't break it. it you know, it'll make your quick, simple upgrade a very bad day.
Help this channel by clicking the affiliate link below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and until next time, this is DIY Eraser.